the walk. It was late at night and I was driving on a secondary road to visit some friends and lived, he lived in a remote village far away from everything. I'd been to his house a few times in the past and the route was very tiring. I was already very tired from driving when I was passing through a tunnel and heard a loud noise coming from inside my car. Seconds later, smoke started coming out from the front of the car. Whoops. Awkward. I got out of the tunnel and pulled to the side of the road to see what had happened to the car. After looking at it for a while, I realised the engine had suffered severe damage. I would not be able to continue driving. I thought, what bad luck I've had. I'll be late to my friend's house. Then I realised I, I was in a town very close to my friend's house. I decided to look for a place to sleep tonight in this town called Nominal Town. I feel like I'm very tall. The lights are very long. I need to find a flashlight as soon as possible. These lights are not the best. I'll take it. Find a place to stay overnight. Oh, so that's just what the note said. Oh, I thought it was like, read the note because... You know, break in here. Lil. Room service. Oh, let's talk to the stranger under the light. I'm sure he's got a place to bone. He's obviously a prostitute. No stranger, what are you doing so late at night on the street? Blind man. Hi, my name's Matt. I just had a breakdown on my car. Oh, that sounds really bad. By the way, my name's Cooper. Nice to meet you, Cooper. Do you know of any chance if there's a motel I can stay in tonight? Mmm, sorry to tell you, there are no motels in this town. It's very small. Ugh. I'd keep walking then. I think I'll see you where you want to go. I was on my way to my friend's house, the other end of town. Mmm, strange. I think your friends are fooling you. There's no one at the end of town. <laughs> Why do you say that? At the end of town, there is nothing. Yeah, it probably means the last house. What? I've already been to my friend's house several times before. Son, I don't know if it's because they're tired or what, but at the end of the town there is nothing. I'm telling you there is. Well, as you wish, if you want to stay at my house overnight. No thanks, I don't want to be late for my friends. As you wish, son. Very careful around here, there are a lot of crazy people. Thanks for the advice, Cooper. See ya. Great friend. Why don't we... Goodbye. Why don't we what? I don't know what it said there. We finish our conversation, why don't we end the weird house? Why don't we wait for roadside assistance? Why don't we deal with whatever the heck that was? I'm very hungry, I need to eat something. Convenient, there's a yellow light here. Bacon's buttholes, that's not what it says, is it? Dorcas. Wait a minute. You must be Dorcas. Welcome to my store, stranger. Hi, I saw this store is open and I got a little hungry. Here, you have a wide selection of things to eat. And drink. Thank you, I will take a look at it. When you're finished, come back to pay. Understood. Like a normal shop. Very cute. Grab some cereal. That's all you need? Yes, that cereal will take away my hunger. By the way, where are you heading so late at night? Go to a friend's house at the end of town. There's nothing at the end of town. Walking? Yes, my car broke down. Oh, lucky. 
Yes, I know. You said you were going to your friend's house at the end of town? Yeah, why? The end of this town, there is nothing. I'm assuming he means the last house at the end of town. You've always been here. You're the second person to tell me the same thing today. I don't know what you're getting at, but I'm warning you. Nobody has dared to go to the end of town for a few years now, kid. Then why is that? I believe that five years ago a demon possessed a man living in the house, hidden in a forest. That's just a legend, right? No idea, but no one dares to go to the end of town of the village in case something happens to them. I don't think anything will happen. The stories have scared the children. A year ago, a girl who decided to go and investigate and never seen again. It's scary, but I don't think it was because something demonic. I'm gonna go. Okay, a lot of crazy people. Thank you. I'll try to eat the cereal. It'll be four dollars. There you go. Thanks, man. Nom nom nom. What just happened? I think I'm going crazy right here. What did it say? At this point in the village, you have no more street lamps. What could that be? Oh. Oh. Can't run. No more street lamps. Still the houses. Can't run, can't crouch. Steal the car. I see nothing. I need that camera. What camera? Oh. There's a video camera inside the car. Get the flashlight ran out of batteries. The camera's fast as possible. Um. Oh, I see. Okay, I can click on that. No. I mean, if a demon was possessing people, it wouldn't exactly be turning in and into windigos or whatever the heck and if that thing is. Hey there. What's happening? Oh, what's happening, lady? Hey lady, you okay? Shit, lady move. Ugh, fuck my head hurts. She I think she's dead. What the hell? Everything was alive from the beginning. That blind man warned me about this. Also that man in the store. What I've just witnessed is that girl who was never seen again. Next to the blind man who ran over the demon. I'll be fine now, right? Right, isn't it? Okay, well thanks for making that. Um, interesting. Get to our friend's house. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments if you want to play it yourself in the description. Remember to show love to all these indie game creators. They're all doing amazing things. Thank you so much.